One of Providence's most congested interchanges is getting a big makeover. The northbound Providence Viaduct was designed back in the 1960s. Not only is it no longer functional for the hundreds of thousands of cars it carries every day, but it's also falling apart. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us from Providence with details on this major roadworks project that won't cost taxpayers a dime. State leaders say more than 220,000 cars travel over this viaduct every day. They say it's in desperate need of repairs. If a picture's worth a thousand words, you could probably write a book about the northbound Providence Viaduct near the Providence Place Mall. The northbound viaduct is a mess. It's a traffic bottleneck uh, and it doesn't function well. But that's all about to change thanks to a $60.3 million federal grant. We'll use these funds to rebuild 11 bridges in this complex structure in this interchange will also improve the traffic flow from Route 6 and 10 and through the city of Providence. RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi says this stretch of Providence Highway is the third most traveled section of 95 through the Northeast and it's falling apart. Its bones are showing, it's rusty, and wooden beams are in place to catch falling concrete. This was a major project to do. It cost a significant amount of money without this. Grant, it would have probably been impossible for the state to do it. All four members of Rhode Island's congressional delegation were on hand Friday to celebrate the money from the federal government. It was awarded to the state as part of a grant program that Senator Sheldon Whitehouse designed. It's everybody's dream when they go to Washington that they'll be able to write a bill, get it passed into law, and have it bring benefit to their home state. This time, it worked. RIDOT officials say construction could begin as soon as the end of next summer. They say the whole project will take about five years to complete. Reporting in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.